Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. When it comes to something borrowed, royals just do their best. Among British royals, wedding traditions include the bride-to-be wearing a tiara on her big day, and it's not their average hair accessory. While tiaras are known to be blinged out with diamonds, there's a sentimental value involved, too. Almost every piece in the royal vault has a history that can be traced back to its original owner or in some cases, the original necklace or brooch that it's been crafted. Oftentimes, daughters choose to wear the same tiara that their mother did on her own royal wedding day. And if you're really lucky, a bride that marries into the royal family is sometimes gifted a tiara by her new in-laws. It's a family tradition that goes beyond dozens of sparkly diamonds. For example, when Meghan Markle walked down the aisle to be Prince Harry, she wore Queen Mary's diamond bandeau tiara, on loan from Queen Elizabeth II herself. The Queen also granted her granddaughter, Princess Beatrice, the Queen Mary Russian fringe tiara for her secret wedding in July 2020, the same tiara the Queen sported on her own wedding day decades before. We're taking a look back at some of the most iconic royal wedding tiaras throughout history. Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother April 26, 1923 The Queen Mother wore the Strathmore tiara for her bridal portraits, which was a wedding gift from her father, the Earl of Strathmore. It features a rose design and is adorned with rose-cut diamonds. Queen Elizabeth II November 20, 1947 Queen Elizabeth's wedding tiara of choice was Queen Mary's Russian fringe tiara, a piece made for her grandmother in 1919, which can also be worn as a necklace. Her only daughter, Princess Anne, wore it for her own big day in 1973. Princess Margaret May 6, 1960 The stunning Pultimore tiara was purchased when Margaret announced her engagement, and naturally, she wore the tall diamond accessory for her special day. Catherine, Duchess of Kent June 8, 1961 When marrying Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, Catherine wore the Kent diamond and pearl fringe tiara, a gift from mother-in-law Princess Marina. Brigitte, Duchess of Gloucester July 8, 1972 Proving that it's not always about diamonds, Brigitte wore a different type of crown for her wedding to Prince Richard of Gloucester, a romantic flower crown. Princess Anne November 14, 1973 when Queen Elizabeth's only daughter wed Mark Phillips, she chose an extra special something old. She wore Queen Mary's Russian fringe tiara, the very piece her mother wore on her wedding day. Princess Diana July 29, 1981 The Spencer family tiara reached its iconic status when Princess Diana wore it for her wedding to Prince Charles. It is said that her sisters, Lady Sarah and Jane, wore the Spencer tiara on their wedding days and Diana wanted to keep with tradition, declining to borrow her mother-in-law's Queen Mary's lover's knot sparkler. Sarah, Duchess of York July 23, 1986 When Sarah wed the Queen's second son, Prince Andrew, her tiara, often called the York Diamond Tiara, was her something new. The beautiful diamond piece was given to her by the Queen and Prince Philip as a wedding gift. Lady Helen Taylor July 18, 1992 Lady Helen Taylor, the daughter of the Duke and Duchess of Kent, opted for a family heirloom for her big day. She wore the Kent diamond and pearl fringe tiara that her mother wore at her wedding. Serena Armstrong Jones, Countess of Snowdon October 8, 1993 When marrying David Armstrong Jones, the son of Princess Margaret and Antony Armstrong Jones, Serena donned a delicate lotus flower tiara that was given to her mother-in-law by her mother in 1959. Lady Sarah Chatto July 14, 1994 the daughter of Princess Margaret wore the Snowden floral tiara for her summer wedding. It is made up of three diamond floral brooches that were turned into a tiara for this very day. Sophie Rhys Jones, Countess of Wessex June 19, 1999 When she wed Queen Elizabeth II's youngest son, Prince Edward in a small ceremony at Windsor Castle, Sophie Rhys Jones donned a beautiful tiara that most of the world had never seen. Her something new was a gift from her new mother-in-law and is said to have been custom-made using four different pieces from one of Queen Victoria's crowns. Autumn Kelly May 17, 2008 Autumn married Princess Anne's son, Peter Phillips, in 2008 wearing her new mother-in-law's festoon tiara. The diamond piece was a gift from Worldwide Ship Group after she christened one of their ships in 1973. Laura Lopes May 6, 2006 
For her big day, Laura wore the same tiara her mother Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall wore on her wedding day in 1973 to her first husband, Andrew Parker Bowles. Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge April 29, 2011. For her highly anticipated royal wedding to Prince William in 2011, Kate Middleton donned the stunning Cartier halo tiara, which she borrowed from Queen Elizabeth II. King George VI gifted the tiara to his wife, the Queen Mother, in 1936 and it now sits in Queen Elizabeth II's collection. Zara Tyndall July 30, 2011 Zara chose to wear the Meander tiara on her wedding day, a Greek key pattern bendo from Princess Anne's collection that once belonged to Prince Philip's mother, Princess Andrew of Greece and Denmark. Meghan Markle May 19, 2018 The veil is held in place by Queen Mary's diamond bendo tiara, lent to Ms. Markle by the Queen. The diamond bendo is English and was made in 1932, with the entire brooch dating from 1893. Princess Eugenie October 12, 2018 For her fall nuptials, Princess Eugenie wore the Greville Emerald Tiara, which features sparkling emeralds and a 93.70 carat center stone. Princess Beatrice July 17, 2020 In addition to wearing one of her grandmother's gowns on her wedding day, Princess Beatrice also wore a special tiara from Queen Elizabeth II, Queen Mary's Russian fringe tiara, 